when this could be fate when i'm thinking maybe that you feel it too tell me are you busy tell me you can stay what a beautiful song. Tyler baby. Shaw is a Juno-nominated platinum-selling recording artist, actor, and producer who had massive success with his smash hit song, Kids Goodnight. He's now out with his sophomore album called Intuition. It includes singles Cautious, which reached top 10 on Canadian radio, and With You, which is what you're listening to right now. It saw a million views in a span of three weeks. And here to tell us more is Tyler Shaw. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. And, you know, i got to start off by saying congratulations on your wedding. Oh, thank you very much. You, you yeah, got married. We're, we're like a few months in, so we're, we're going strong here. <laughs> uh, was it everything you hoped it was going to be, or did you have some groomzilla moments? Or? Not at all. Um, the day was absolutely perfect. Everything we thought it would be, and more. That's yeah. wonderful. And I also really love that you performed at the MMDAs on the red carpet. That's right, yeah. But you were there with your wife, and I you was. had these cute little uh, uh, jackets yeah, on. Yeah, the jackets were custom made by Roots, and I had one that said Mr. Shaw, and she had one that said Mrs. Shaw. Oh, so, yeah. so sweet. Yeah. We love that. And I love also that we're talking about the song with you because you wrote that song for your wife. I did, yeah. You sang it at the wedding? I did not sing it at the wedding. It was, at the wedding, I didn't really want my own songs played, but of course, friends and family were there going up to the DJ requesting the song. So a few of my songs did play, including that one, yeah. It's such a beautiful yeah, song. And doing so well, I mentioned within the first three weeks, a million views. You're now yeah. over four million yeah, views on right. it. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's doing great. And this whole album, whether we're talking about With You mm -hmm. or, or Cautious, mm -hmm. it's a deeply personal album for you. You wrote every song. I did. I co-wrote every song in the album, and it took two and a half years to do it um, and now we're actually going to be playing it live um, we got the jingle ball coming up on December 2nd and I'm going out on tour uh, starting in November a couple of shows next week in Guelph so um, I, it's gonna be fantastic to hear live as well as just listening to the album itself. I mean you are really busy uh, yeah. and congratulations <laughs> on being part of the lineup for the iHeartRadio Jingle Thank Ball. You. It yeah. is quite the lineup. Yeah. You can start getting your tickets starting on Friday by the way for right. people who are interested because it is happening December 2nd as yes. you mentioned. When you go out on your own tour, mm -hmm. this is all for your sophomore album yep. Intuition, uh, you are gonna have a Toronto stop I believe it's November 28th. That's right at the Mock Club. Yeah, yeah we're looking forward to that. Tell me what do you want your fans to take from this album since you mentioned, you know, it, I think it's a different Tyler Shaw it, than what we've seen before. Yeah, it definitely is. You know, um, the first album, I guess the biggest difference between albums is the first one, I didn't really know who I was as a person or who I was as an artist. I was kind of experimenting what I liked in terms of uh, lyrical content and, and sounds and stuff. The second album, however, is definitely something I've zoned in on, on what I want. So I went into every session being like, I know what I want to talk about, I know what I want the album to sound like, and two and a half years later, we have intuition. It's fantastic. I imagine that through this journey, you've you've learned a lot as well. We absolutely we talked in the past about some of the big names that you've toured with. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe Magic as well. Magic, uh, Shawn Mendes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what that experience is like, because it, you know when you're out there and you actually see fans singing your songs mm -hmm. or, or you know experiencing it that way, I'm sure it's completely different. It is, and you know if people can relate to the music, then that just makes it so much better. And like you're saying, when when you're out there singing the songs and you see people reacting by singing the song back to you, it's, it's, there's no other feeling like it on the world. Yeah. What's, what's your process like in, in songwriting? I mean, are you one of those people you need to be in a dark room? Do you ever have writer's <laughs> blog? Do you, do you get an idea oh, when you're on the subway? It's, yeah, everything in between. It's like uh, a bunch of the songs were written in the UK, and as I was taking the tube, as they call it, the subway, uh, over to session, I'd think of a melody or even a beat, or there's a bunch of you know voice notes in my phone of me clicking like, like doing different rhythms and stuff, or you know, I'll I'll go into a session and we won't write a thing. It just sometimes that happens. That's normal, you know. You you have your bad days, but you also have your good days. And so. do you find that now you're following your intuition with a, a lot of your, 100%. your songs? hundred percent. That's why it's called intuition. It's just I was following it. I was listening to it. I was trusting it. Yeah, yeah, well, it's it's great. And, you know, if With You is any indication, because let me just tell you, the lyrics are beautiful. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful song. I see Thank really you. big things for it. Thank you. Make sure you check out the new album and the new singles as well. Yeah. And you can catch him at the iHeartRadio Jingle Ball. Yes. He's also going to be back November 28th. Absolutely. We'll be back. You're watching CP24 Breakfast. That you feel it too. Tell me, are you busy?